I am Umeh Hanidari, Role 10 from Group Explorers. Today in this video, me and my friends are going to discuss about fecundity of fish. There are four methods to estimate the fecundity of fish. These are gravimetry method, volumetry method, one wire method and automatic input method. In this video, we are going to practically discuss about gravimetry method and volumetry method. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the process. The materials that we use for estimating the fecundity of our fish are as following. First of all, we need mature female fish in the spawning or pre-spawning stage. In case of equipment, we use analytical balance, tray, dissecting instruments, pipette, measuring cylinder, lab coat and hose. Stop! Who comes And glasses. Now we are ready. lab work, we worked with a mature female common carp which was collected from the local fish market to estimate fish fecundity. The fish was first placed on a clean tray for dissection. Using a scissor, we made a careful incision starting from the anal opening along the abdominal region to expose the internal organs. The paired ovaries filled with developing eggs were gently removed from the fish body. We then cleaned the gonads using tissue paper, removing all traces of blood, fat and surrounding tissue. Next, we weighed the total ovary mass using an analytical balance. After that, the two lobes of the ovary were separated and weighed individually. We observed that the anterior lobe was larger in size and weight compared to the posterior lobe. For gravimetric method, first we identified the anterior and posterior lobes of the ovary. Each lobe was then divided into three parts and we took a subsample from each part leveled as F1 to F6. Next we weighed each subsample precisely. For example, F1 weighed 0.23 grams and so on for the others. Then we counted the number of eggs in each subsample. For instance, F1 contained 137 eggs and so forth. Using the formula, fecundity equal to number of eggs in subsample into gonad weight divided by weight of subsample, we calculated fecundity for each part. For example, for F1 we calculated F1 equal to 137 into 164.55 divided by 0 0.23 and we got back for F1 98,014 eggs. Similarly, we calculated F2, F3 and the rest. After calculating fecundity for each subsample, we took the average fecundity of the anterior lobe F1 to F3 and the posterior lobe F4 to F6. Finally, the total fecundity was obtained by adding the average fecundity of both lobes and the total fecundity was 1,80,678 eggs. For volumetric method, first we measured a known volume of water in a measuring cylinder. Then we added the cleaned eggs into the water. After mixing the eggs properly in the water, we took two subsamples leveled as F1 and F2 using a pipette. We measured the volume of each subsample carefully. Next, we counted the number of eggs in each subsample. For the first subsample, we counted 1476 eggs and for the second subsample, 1559 eggs. The total volume containing the eggs was 500 milliliters and the volume of each subsample was 5 milliliters. Using the formula for fecundity, which is the number of eggs in the subsample multiplied by total volume divided by the volume of subsample, we calculated the total fecundity. For the first subsample, 
the fecundity was 1 lakh 47,000 600 eggs. For the second subsample, it was 1 lakh 55,000 900 eggs. Finally, we took the average of these two values to get an estimated total fecundity of 1 lakh 51,750 eggs. During the lab work, we followed several important precautions to ensure both the accuracy of the results and the safety of the procedure. Some of our the fish was handled gently throughout the dissection process to avoid damaging of the ovaries or eggs. Eggs were weighed with precision. Egg counting was carried out carefully and consistently to reduce the risk of human error. In the volumetric method, uniform mixing was ensured and all the data were recorded immediately after measurement to avoid any kind of mistakes or forgetting values. Understanding fecundity is fundamental in fishery science as it directly influences the recruitment models, stock biomass estimations and management strategies aimed at ensuring the sustainability of fish populations. We, the member of group explorers, would like to express our sincere gratitude to our course teachers for their guidance, encouragement and for giving us the opportunity to conduct this practical. Thank you so much for watching.